Hello, I'm Jason from the Deeper Network, and in this video, I will show you how to use the much anticipated access control list. The access control list at its core is very simple. You can think of it as device specific routing. Your Deeper Connect will be able to see everything attached to your network, and then you choose how to route it. This level of customization is perfect for households with network environments with multiple devices that don't all need to route to the same location, or for users with devices and specific needs. Every device can be set specifically to smart route, full route, DPN disabled, and the brand new black hole. Also, every device can be set with HTTPS filtering on or off. So let's look at how to set it up. Okay, so setting up your network to allow access control list to work properly is pretty simple. Typically you have your modem, your deeper connect, and your router. In this network environment, you want your modem to have UPnP, universal plug and play, enabled, as well as DHCP enabled. Then you have your mini, and then you have your router, which will be set in access point mode or bridge mode. That way, everything attached to the router will pass through the mini and then access the internet. That way, Access Control List will see everything on your network. For another quick representation, you have this graphic. Your modem and or all-in-one device will be set in DHCP mode and UPnP mode, universal plug and play. Then you'll have your deeper connect device in the middle while your router is in access point mode or AP mode. In that way, Everything connected to the access point, whether it's wireless or via LAN, will pass its information through the Deeper Connect to the modem. The Deeper Connect, using Access Control List, will be able to view all the devices connected to your network. Your modem, even though it's in DHCP mode, with Universal Plug and Play, will be able to give your Deeper Connect device access to a public IP. To get started with Access Control List, log into your device and then on the left click on Access Control. By default, Access Control is off, so click on this toggle to enable Access Control List. It will take a few minutes for Access Control to populate some of the devices on your network, so wait a few minutes and then click the refresh button. You will then see some of the devices connected to your network. Remember. They are in alphabetical order in accordance to the MAC address. ACL will have the following information for you. MAC address, device name, IP address. If the device name does not populate, you can leave yourself a remark to remind yourself what the device is. By default, Everything in Access Control List is set to Smart Route. It will take about 5 to 10 minutes, depending on your network, to populate the entirety of your network. So please wait and then click the refresh button one last time. I know on my network that this IP address is my laptop, so I will leave a remark to remind myself this is my laptop. I have the following DPN modes to choose from with Access Control List. Smart Route, which will route multiple locations at once. Full Route, which will direct all traffic to one location. DPN Disabled, which will use only my local traffic. Or Black Hole, which will stop all internet activity. For my laptop, I will set that to North America. Because I don't want to continue to go and find my laptop through the access control list, I can pin it to the top. Once I enable pin to the top and refresh, it's pinned to the top. I also know on my network that these two IP addresses are my NAS. So I will leave a remark and then I will set my NAS to be DPN disabled, as I do not need it to access the DPN. A new feature we are introducing is the black hole. 
With Access Control List, you can find the devices on your network, maybe IoT devices, that do not need to access the internet. You can single out these devices and set them to a black hole, which means they will never access the outside internet. This is a very powerful feature to keep your network safe and secure. It's important to remember that if you want the benefits of the kill switch, do not use access control list. If any of the tunnels go to zero while using ACL, your local network will be used, so your local IP is your base connection. So if you want the benefits of the kill switch, disable access control list, and then in DPN and mode, select full route and then kill switch. With access control list, your network will have a unique level of power and customization that is unmatched by any of the competition. Deeper network of the users, by the users, for the users. We hope you found these videos helpful and informative. Continue watching the playlists to learn everything there is to know about your Deeper Connect and the Deeper Network.